This is the experimental sea crawler. It is very overpowered for its price intentionally for beginner players to be able to use it to learn the game. It is also a good ship to look at to learn ship building as I'm using only vanilla assets. I'll run you through how I would typically use this ship, which is predominantly designed for playing single player with bots. This lever here can activate and deactivate the reactor from the command room, which is useful for a variety of reasons. Continually displayed on the screens is important ship data, such as our speeds, our depths, our temperatures of the reactor and how much power it's using, as well as the battery and how much it's charged. In the command terminal, we have controls for the battery array to turn the battery on. We have discharge coils in the back, and we also have the ability to launch a depth charge. Depth charges are stored here, but they will drop from here. It starts with a mineral scanner, but we will have to alternate between the two terminals to be able to see the minerals. The button here controls the front discharge coil, but the supercapacitors have not been activated. I'll need to go up and pull the lever to turn them on. This doesn't really serve a function as it just looks quite fun to turn it on and watch the power be suddenly drawn to the supercapacitors like that. This hall switch basically just means that doors stay open when I'm needing to run up and down and move around materials. It was added just for the quality of life feature. The periscope in the command room controls four cameras, which can be cycled through using the left mouse button. If we push the railgun button, the periscope now controls the front railgun. Very useful for single player gameplay. Below the command room is the gun array compartment, which controls the two front guns. This is technically the most secure place on the ship. The reactor is automated using the popular regex expression. You can find guides on how to do this on YouTube. An uncommon feature of the sea crawler is that it uses the ballasts as airlock accesses. This airlock was a problem for bot pathing, but I have fixed the waypoints now and it should be fine. In the past there was missions where you may have to detain people and keep them secure, so there is a brig. You can possibly get yourself trapped in this brig, and there is a way to escape. There is some red wire in this cabinet, and there is a hidden screwdriver down here. We're going to use the ward detector to change the signal sent to the door. Remember if this happens to change everything back to normal. Not the cleanest wiring, but pretty good if you want to see how things should usually be wired. It is possible to have a shuttle at the rear here, but I've removed that in this version as the shuttle is not finished. Shuttles can also add unnecessary complexity to the game as well. You can see me use this ship in my Europa Explorer series on my YouTube channel. Check the description for links. <laughs> 